Now to the race for the White House. Both former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris back on the campaign trail tonight. Trump now facing criticism over comments that he made earlier today during the National Association of Black Journalists Convention in Chicago. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher joins us now in studio with the latest. Michelle. David, for decades, the National Association of Black Journalists has invited presidential candidates to the convention during election years. In the past, that's been George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. They have all attended either as president or presidential candidates. Well, today's appearance marked the first for Donald Trump, who is now in the hot seat over some of his remarks. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Former President Donald Trump under fire tonight for those remarks about the vice president's race made during an appearance at the National Association of Black Journalists Convention Wednesday afternoon in Chicago. Hours later, the former president was back in Pennsylvania for the first time since the assassination attempt on his life. Trump holding a rally in Harrisburg where he doubled down with more negative comments about the vice president. And you know, the press is very corrupt, you know that. They gave her a transformation like Houdini. Vice President Harris is long identified as a black woman and Asian American and graduated from a historically black university. She was in Houston tonight for an event for Sigma Gamma Rho, a historically black sorority. We face a choice between two very different visions for our nation. One focused on the future, the other focused on the past. Harris with this to say about Trump's remarks. It was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. And let me just say, the American people deserve better. Harris and her team meantime continue to call for the former president to go through with the debate he previously agreed to when President Biden was his opponent. And the National Association of Black Journalists says that Vice President Harris was also invited to this year's convention but was not available. The organization says it's working with her team now for a Q&A sometime in September. Meantime, the Democratic Party set to begin that formal nomination process with the virtual delegate roll call tomorrow through Monday night for Harris. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.